vinyl friends and vinyl community. It's Brian from Brian's Vinyl Records, and it's Tuesday, but it's time for another installment of Vinyl Editions. So I recorded a video yesterday, but it had a lot of issues with it, and it just became a pain in the butt. So I decided to do it again today on Tuesday, bright and early in the morning. We're ready to go, and I've got some cool stuff to show you. So I've got a couple uh, different buys here this week. One is from a online record auction which I will talk about and the other is from my fit one of my favorite places here in Minnesota down in the valley uh, I've been supporting them all throughout this um, shutdown you could say and it's been great uh, to help them out and just really had a lot of fun with it so we'll talk about that as well let's start with the used records that I purchased through the online auction so I have been doing online auctions uh, in Facebook for quite some time now. I found a couple groups that I really enjoy and uh, one of the main groups that I stick around with is one called Stash House Records and more. So if you are looking to uh, find a real fun environment, the hosts that do the selling are absolutely enjoyable. They're great guys and they do a, just a phenomenal job. Check out Stash House Records and more on Facebook. They do auctions, you know, usually once, maybe twice a week. Sometimes they take a little longer break, but there's three guys there that consistently put on shows and they're a riot, they're fun, and their pricing is really good. So check them out. This is my haul from the latest um, uh, from Stash House Records. We'll start here. This is Elvis Costello, and this is um, Taking Liberties. It is an interesting record. So this is only my second Elvis Costello record. I bought one of them locally here, and you can see that a few episodes back, and I really enjoyed it, so I thought I'd get a little more into this. I didn't know what this was when I bought it. I got it, and it was interesting because the first few songs I listened to were like under two minutes long, and I thought that was kind of weird. And so I looked it up, and it turns out this is a collection of unreleased material and B-sides. And there are like 20 songs on this album uh, in all. A lot of them are a little shorter. Some of them are full-length songs, so I'm, I, uh, I think it's kind of cool. It's an interesting look into Elvis Costello because these are songs that didn't make albums or were relegated to um, the opposite of the single side. And um, it's kind of cool. So an interesting piece to get as my second Elvis Costello album. But nonetheless, I, I actually enjoyed it quite a bit. So Elvis Costello, Taking Liberties, a, a fun little grab. Uh, I got a two-pack of a band that uh, has been turned on to me by Emma over at 8 Vinyl Low. It's her favorite band. I'm talking about Cheap Trick. And I bought two of their albums here. This one is called In Color. This one has the song I Want You To Want Me on here. Most people, though, are familiar with their Live at the Budokan version of the song. Uh, this one's a little bit different, but I liked it. I really enjoyed it. So <clears throat> it was fun to pick up some more Cheap Trick. I'm trying to give them a listen. I really never paid attention to Cheap Trick at all before, but um, yeah, I've been seeing them around and I've been buying them for fairly cheap prices. So as I do that, I'll, I'll just keep buying them and seeing. But that's the first one. The second one I got in the package was this one. This is Cheap Trick's uh, All Shook Up album. I know nothing about this album. Um, I don't recognize the song titles, so it'll be interesting to give this one a listen. So I don't know if this is one of their great ones or one of their other ones. Who knows? But this one came in the two-pack, and uh, so I'll give this one a listen and see how it goes. I also, in that same uh, auction, I got a four-pack of albums from a band called The Outlaws. So the Outlaws are a southern rock band, and I love southern rock music. I have one album of theirs currently, and so I thought I'd get a few more. This is their Greatest Hits album, uh, The Greatest Hits of the Outlaws, and so that's a good place to start. Uh, this, is in, this is decent here. What I didn't like about this one is that a couple of the songs on side two are live songs, and I don't mind live songs to say, but when you're gonna put a Greatest Hits compilation together, I don't think you include live songs on it. Maybe you feel differently, but that's just my opinion. I want to hear the songs as they recorded, not necessarily live versions of them. Also in that four pack is this one. This is In the Eye of the Storm by the Outlaws. I've not heard this one, so it'll be fun to give this a listen to. Lady in Waiting is the other one. 
again haven't heard this one so I'm interested in giving this a spin as well and then uh, the last one is the one I already had a copy of so this is Hurry Sundown uh, a really good album by the Outlaws so I already had this one but you know it came with the four pack so I, I'm not going to turn it down so yeah this is great Outlaws and the last one I got from the online auction from Stash House is this this is Willie Nelson's Without a Song this was still in the shrink with the hype sticker so really excited to have this uh, been really getting into a lot of Willie Nelson's stuff especially his newer stuff I've really enjoyed his newer stuff so that's caused me when I see a good deal to go into his back catalog and kind of fill myself in on that so didn't really listen to a whole lot of Willie Nelson growing up and just really started getting into him when I found a couple of them for free and a couple others for like a buck or something like that in some estate sales and things like that. So uh, really enjoyed that, took a chance on his newer stuff and it's really good. So this one is from 1983. So I'm looking forward to giving that a spin. All right, so let's talk about Down the Valley. So Down the Valley has been open for all intents and purposes since the shutdown they started doing curbside pickup at first and that went pretty well but then the governor kind of shut that down with the stay-at-home order and then they went to an online mode so they have an online presence on their website downthevalley.com they also have an online presence on discogs where they sell things um, mostly all their new stuff so the used inventory was something that they they just didn't they couldn't put all that online and try and sell that. So what they decided to do was that every Friday they house or they do a live happy hour. So from five to seven central time on Down the Valley's Facebook page, there is a happy hour time. And what they do is they bring three crates of used records up and they basically show you the record, tell you the price and the first one to claim it gets to purchase it from them so I've been doing this now for I think we're on we've done four weeks now and I think they can plan to continue until they can open up uh, the whole store to people and so I will continue to support them I bought pretty much every week that they've done this and gotten some really cool items uh, for pretty good pricing so let's start with this this is the Fantasia soundtrack so um, Leopold Stokowski I think that's how you say his name with the Philadelphia Orchestra and the soundtrack to the movie Disney movie Fantasia uh, this is one that popped up and my wife is a huge Disney nut uh, so I asked her if she would be interested in this and she said she would so I decided to dibs on that and and got this piece so it's pretty cool it's a neat little package I think this one is this is from Buena Vista and I think that I figured out this is from uh, 70s repress of the album um, it's hard to tell because honestly the dead wax only has the number 101 in it and a couple other things but none of the discogs items show a full wax uh, of it and the only numbers on the sides are 101 so it was hard to find it but I did narrow it down because I have a Buena Vista uh, pressing of it I was able to kind of match up Buena Vista and what I found is most of the Buena Vista uh, albums that were on there were three LP and mine is a two LP so I was able to narrow it down that way so I did find the copy I have or that I think I have uh, but it was a, a fun treasure hunt but yes that's a pretty cool album then I picked up a couple new albums off their uh, their new inventory shelf that I wanted to purchase as well the first one being this one this is Rilo Kylie and this is fantastic band uh, Jenny Lewis is the guitarist and singer in this band she's fantastic I took a chance on her latest album that she released when it came out I heard lots of people talking about how good it was so I bought it when it was on sale and really really enjoyed it started digging through her back catalog I got a couple other albums from her and then read up on her and found out she was in this band I listened to a couple of songs that they did streaming and decided to buy the album that Down the Valley had in stock at the time. The next week they had another one in stock, so I bought that. And this week they had this one in stock, so I bought that. There are two other albums that were released by Rilo Kylie, and uh, they are unfortunately out of print right now. I hope they get a repress, but they're out of print right now and they go for some pretty big money. So uh, probably won't be getting those anytime soon. I'm, I might look for them on CD though instead. But this is Rilo Kylie, and this is The Execution of All Things from 2002. It would be their second full-length album, and 
I haven't listened to it yet, but I'm looking forward to that because I've really enjoyed the stuff I've heard. Last but certainly not least, this is exciting, guys. Uh, one of my favorite artists, I've mentioned that probably a thousand times on my Facebook and Instagram pages. One of my favorite artists and songwriters right now is a man named Jason Isbell, and he has a brand new album that comes out this Friday. But he did something really cool for independent record stores, and he sent them a special version that was only available at independent record stores one week earlier than the release date. This is his album Reunions by Jason Isbell and the 400 Unit. It is absolutely a fantastic album, just really cool. And the nice part is for independent record stores, he released it on this Dreamsicle vinyl color, which is really cool. It comes with a, a photo uh, of the album artwork also included in there that doesn't come with the original package. So you get the album artwork uh, on a little like photograph and um, it's just a great album like i said gatefold package and also a certain number of the albums were available that came with another piece here this is just a little like poster card of jason isbell's 1959 gibson les paul which he calls the red eye there's a bunch of writing about it i think in on here as well a uh, little biography of jason isbell's career and um, just really cool uh, piece so this is going to be hanging on my wall somewhere in this office because it's really cool but uh, this one was only available in a limited quantity with the uh, the record uh, local record store indie record store release so really excited to have both of those just a, a great album so if you're a jason isbell fan you're going to be super pumped to hear the new jason isbell if you haven't already purchased it all right so that's going to wrap things up for this week's vinyl editions i hope you enjoyed this episode if you did please do give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below if you're new please hit that subscribe button and remember down in the valley check them out on their facebook page go to downthevalley.com or look them up on discogs uh, support local record stores great place great people who run that place and uh, they do a friday nights from five to seven central time a vinyl happy hour so if you're interested hop on let them know that brian's vinyl records sent you um, i'm sure they will appreciate that and uh, yeah they've got t-shirts for sale this is really cool this is brand new um, tie dyed for the uh, covid um, stay at home order they, they made these up for the stay at home order and uh, I, call it, I think they call it the quarantine tie dye shirt it comes in this color and a silver color as well really cool shirt but check them out also check out stash house records and more on facebook uh, just a great bunch of guys who run that place and like i said i've been purchasing from them for probably a year and a half now and never had anything go wrong there love those guys and they are always just genuinely great people so thank you for watching check out my facebook instagram i post daily all the updates uh, that I do throughout the day is what I listen to. Check out my podcast, brianesvinylrecords.com. Uh, do a great series on there called Tracks, where we break down albums track by track. Um, we have, I think, about four or five episodes of that available in the archives right now. And overall, thank you all for your support. I truly appreciate it. And until next time, keep spinning vinyl, friends.